Alolan Ninetales has been popping up a lot recently, especially due to that Articuno team that had become so popular throughout Regulation F, but with Regulation G, Kyrim White really enjoys taking Articuno's place as the Blizzard spammer. On today's team made by Giordi in the Discord, Kyrim fills that Articuno spot and fills it well. In the first battle that we have, we are up against Rayquaza, so I know that my ice is not going to work because Rayquaza stops the weather from working with its airlock ability. So I decide that I'm going to lead Tornadus and Kyruem. That gives me the opportunity to just do massive damage into whatever Pokemon are out on the field very early on and outspeed all of them. I'm going to bring Ninetales in the back as an option to rotate in weather if necessary, and then I'm going to round things out with Ogre Pond. My Lodic and Corviknight is the lead. Okay. This works pretty nicely for us. We don't have Fusion Flare, which is a touch unfortunate playing into the Corviknight. I am a touch sad we don't have that option at our disposal, um, but we can go for... I think I go for the Tailwind here. Corviknight's just going to swap. Incineroar is going to come in. The Intimidate really doesn't do anything. We're a special attacker, so I'm okay with that. Tailwind goes up. We go for the Freeze Dry. Oh, yeah. See ya, my Lodic. Okay, hold up a minute. We're cooking now. All right. Does Torn have Protect? It does. Okay, we're, that's good shape. We're, that, okay, they have Chen Pao. We're fine with that, too. Alright, so this turn, we just double protect. We avoid the fake out turn. Double protect is fine. And they rage quit. Alright. Rage quit. Kairu M. White, baby. This thing's pretty cool. I like this Pokemon a lot. It's so cool. Game 2 brings the spice with this Pincurchin team as well as Iron Thorns, which I'm pretty excited to play against. This team looks a little interesting to deal with just because I don't know what is coming at me, but I'm going to lead with Alolan Ninetales and Kyrim White, mainly to just start spamming Blizzard and get Aurora Veil down. Then from there, I'm going to go with the Incineroar as well as Ogre Pond. That is going to give me options for Intimidate Pressure and Fake Out Pressure later in the game, and then Ogre Pond to be able to just do big damage or redirect attacks if necessary. All right, bundle and Pincurchin. Well, we set Aurora Veil. We set Aurora Veil this turn, and we go for a freeze dry on the bundle. Probably could have Terran. I think Terrain might have been a good idea. They do have Blizzard. Ouch. Yeah, Terrain would have been a better idea. Ruravale goes down. Freeze Dry goes off. That takes KO on Bundle. Good damage. Poison Jab, ooh. Okay, Pincurchin. Uh, I Helping Hand and an Earth Power here. I, I can't imagine they Terra. Maybe they Terra Rock? They do. And they're faster. That's not good. They're Bug. Okay. Okay. Oh no, we're faster. 
Decent damage. They probably take the KO here, though. Yeah, there's the Rock Blast. Another Poison Jab likely coming in. Supercell Slam, okay. Get the Intimidate down. I'm just going to go for the fake out right now. Okay, they swap. Into. Cool with that. I'm good with that. They sucker punch. Not going to be enough. Moon Blast goes off. That's good damage. Um, I'm going to go for another Moon Blast here. And Flare Blitz. They already blew their Terra. They're going to fake me out. That's fine. Get in Ogre Pond. This turn we just spiky shield and we go for a flare blitz. Okay, they're going to protect. Poison Jab into Incineroar. We take that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Snow's gone. Aurora Veil also gone. Less than ideal for sure. Kind of wish I just Terrored Ivy Cudgeled that last turn. But we're going to go for that this turn. Can be dicey. This could be a very dicey turn. Tengu's going to swap. That's perfect. That's what I needed. <laughs> I needed that more than anything. Because now we get a free KO. We probably take both Pokemon here. Imagine how much differently this battle would have gone if I just Terra Ice turn one into that bundle. Ivy Cudgel goes first. Beautiful. This should easily take the KO on Pinkurchin. Horrible defensive stats. Yep. Flare Blitz goes off. Citrus Berry Prox, that's very nice for us. We really need that. So I think what we have to do is go for Ivy Cudgel and Flare Blitz, because they likely fake out. Oh, nope, they just gave us the battle. Okay, I was thinking they'd fake out Incineroar and try and stall out uh, the turns of poison, but maybe they just didn't have protect. Oh, they did have protect. They used it, so I don't know what they were doing.
Game 3, I have another interesting team. They have Feraligator, Meowskarada, as well as Garchomp. I'm not really sure what to expect out of this team, but I am going to lead with Kyron White as well as Alolan Ninetales, just to get that Aurora Veil down and start putting out some damage. Once again, I'm going to round things out with Incineroar and Ogre Pond. I know they have the King Gambit, but having the option of Incineroar lowering attack for a lot of these Pokemon is way too beneficial to pass up on. I will handle that King Gambit if necessary. Raikou and Incineroar is the lead here. Well, I'm not particularly threatened by either of these two, so I'm just going to go for Aurora Veil and go for an Earth Power onto that Incense slot. Yeah, we're going for the Incense specifically. They may go for a Fake Out. They do. Okay, whatever. Aura Sphere? All right. So I'm more worried about the Raikou now. Cool. I'm gonna go for the Earth Power now on the Raikou. Why is this so fast? Earth Power goes off. See ya. They go for Flare Blitz into my Ninetales, which I'm very much okay with. What comes in? Garchomp comes in. Do I outspeed that? I don't even know. I gotta look it up. Kyrim. White. I don't think I actually do Garchomp. Yeah, I don't. Okay. I'm gonna go for Protect this turn. No Terra comes out. That's interesting. Moonblast goes in. That's beautiful. That's good damage. Dragon Claw, okay. Flare Blitz once more. We're gonna get an Incineroar. Ooh, they're not clear amulet. Okay. We fake out and we blizzard here. We save the Terra. Because I think my Ogre Pond's going to need that Terra more than anything. See what they decide to do. That Aura Sphere was detrimental to my Kyra. That was awful. They're really thinking about this turn. Oh, they let me fake out. That's crazy. Rough skin. Garchomp flinches. Blizzard goes off. Just a little bit of chip onto that Ensign. Down goes Kyrim. They go for the knockoff. Okay, I lose my berry. That's a touch unfortunate. Ogre Pond. And they have King Gambit. Alright. Just 
Supreme Overlord, huh? That's how we feel? Knock off. That's how we feel. Terra goes off on Ogre Pond. All right. Terra goes off on their end. What do they got? King Gambit going to Terra, probably Dragon. Terra Dark. Okay. They're going all out. Sucker Punch, okay. But oh, we took that pretty well. I'm a little shocked how well we took that, actually. The knockoff is going to be huge if they have black glasses. Bop. Snow stops. Aurora Veil's gone. So what we can do is go for Parting Shot and Spiky this turn. Because they don't... Okay, they gave us the battle. I was going to say, we get Parting Shot and Spiky because they don't have Defiant. The final battle has a Dusk Main Necrozma with a Rain Team setup. And this looks a little tricky to maneuver around. I am going to lead with my Tornadus as well as Kyrim White. I could control the weather with Tornadus as well as my Alolan Ninetales. So having both options I feel is going to be pretty nice here. And then I'm going to route things out with Incineroar just to have that option to intimidate and fake out some of these oppressive threats. All right, they have Dusk Main. It's got a wild. What's the typing on that bad boy? Okay. I should be faster though. So what if I just set the snow? Ah, uh, but it takes three force damage from super effective attacks. Huh. I still don't mind that idea. I'm gonna set the snow, and I'm gonna go for an earth power. This will do decent chip. They're gonna Terra. What are you tearing to? Thank you. That does nothing for you. There's a the Tailwind. They sort of stance this turn. Earth power goes off. That's incredible damage. Now we tailwind. And we go for an earth power. Again. Ooh. Okay. Oh wait, we have herb! We have herb! I forgot we had herb! Let's go! That's beautiful. That's awesome. Earth power goes off once more. Nice. That's huge. That's so big that we had herb. Nice. What comes in? All right. Booster special attack. Cool. I tear ice now. And I freeze dry. Because I don't want to get hit with a Draco and that'd be detrimental.
I'm just gonna keep clicking snow. Yep. I know you're faster than me, bud. That's why I just keep doing this. Dragon Pulse, there it is. No Draco, which is shocking. Freeze Dry goes off. Thank you. What's the last Pokemon? Or Chaludon. Earth power. I don't I don't care anymore, silly goose. I don't. Can't use Snowscape after taunt, that's fine. Earth power goes off. Bingo. Ooh, it's not enough. There's the body press, okay. Get an Incineroar. can't protect. I think I just go for Bleak Wind, and I fake out the Archaladon. Yeah, I know. They get the stamina boost. Can't win. Perfect. Another stamina boost. Tailwind's gone, but it doesn't matter. We just need to go for another Bleak Wind because they're going to set rain. And we go for Flare Blitz. They missed my Torn. Cool. They didn't set rain. That's fine. Body Press into my Ensign. I just have to hit Bleak Wind. Don't miss. I literally said it. Okay, they, okay. I missed their guy. I'm fine with that. That's fine. That's fine. Torn shakes off the taunt. We get in our nine tails and we pretty much got this locked. Bleak wind, moon blast. They missed my torn again. That's cool. Nice. Special attack drop is huge. Bleak Wind connects. That should be a GG. Nice. Kyron White's fun. It's very fun. All right, final thoughts. Awesome team, Giordi. I really like the Kyron White call out with the Alolan Ninetales. It makes a lot of sense and it's just super fun to play. It, it did so much damage with the Helping Hand stuff. Really, really cool set for this particular Pokemon. I, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, this is why I thought Kyrim White and Kyrim Black would be a little bit higher on the list than a lot of, oh, than their Reshiram and Zekrom variations. Um, they're really good. So, if you guys enjoyed, sub for more videos like this in the future. If you want to send in teams to be featured in Red G videos like this, be sure to check out Discord. But until next time, peace.